Ooh, we look how she gleaming under these gas station lights, guys. <laughs> she looking good. Back in action. What's up guys welcome back to the channel man welcome back to the channel right now man i got the royal pedal in sport plus mode and i got the srt page i got got it on sport mode so we about to have a little fun man I'm about to see what this thing gonna sound like man while we get on a little bit i gotta get out here i know this junk gonna spin like crazy oh. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. controllers been out forever there's nothing new these things been out forever and people always want to seem like they they teaching you something by saying it ain't giving you no more horsepower it's not doing this now we everybody knows that anybody that has one of these cars know you're not getting any more horsepower it's not making the car faster it's just fun it's like as soon as you hit the gas you're getting all that power you're not it's no lag it eliminates the lag that's it that's it that's all Get one, just prepare for your car to pull hard. That's all. It's gone. As soon as you give it a gas, you're gonna get all that power immediately. But today's video, guys, today's video, I begin some questions that people ask me, why did I get rid of my RT? Hold on, before I do that, let me put this thing back in auto because it's acting crazy. It just was ready to go when I'm trying to talk. A lot of people ask me why did I get rid of my RT? And 
it was just a similar situation with my scat pack. I got rid of my scat pack to get a Hellcat. I love my RT. Let me tell y'all, when I bought my RT, I was just getting into Dodge and muscle cars. Again, my dad was a Mustang guy. Still is a Mustang guy. I mean, he pretty much like all cars, just like I do. But my dad was at first a Mustang guy. He had an 88 um, Ford Mustang. He had an 89 Mustang. I think that's what it was. I know he'll correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure it was a Mustang and it was a stick shift. And when I first got my driver's license, my dad used to let me drive that car to school. So of course I felt like I was the man because I was driving a Mustang to school. So eventually my dad transitioned into being a Corvette guy. Now he done had every Corvette you could think of. I mean, every single one. I'm trying to put pictures up here while I'm talking. Um, if I can go back and find some of the pictures of his Corvettes. He just recently got rid of his uh, Grand Sport Corvette. And that thing was beautiful. Like I said, I'm gonna put some pictures of them up here. So I've been around cars for a long time. And I decided that I wanted to, to get a muscle car. And the Charger seemed to be the best one to get. Now, of course, I told you guys I started off with a V6. And then I worked my way up to the RT. And when I got my RT, guys, let me tell y'all something. I was the happiest guy in the world. That's why I don't understand why people let other folks talk bad about them just because they got an RT. When I got my RT, you couldn't tell me nothing. You couldn't tell me nothing. I actually did a lot of stuff to my RT. And I, it was white. It had the red and black leather seats, sunroof. That car was loaded. You hear what I'm saying? That that RT was loaded. You couldn't tell me nothing. I, try, I put rims on it. I like them, man. It's the only thing. It's my back tire. I think I need to go 305s because as you can see, the tire looks a little stretched. You know what I'm saying? But, and these are 275. But I believe I need at least 305s or maybe 295. But other than that, man, I really don't have any complaints. I took and put a Hellcat spoiler on it. Um, of course, I got the raw pedal. Oh! <laughs> That's race mode for real. I can tell the difference with that, bro. I changed the uh, mufflers on it. I took off the mid mufflers, put the boiler, the S-type boiler mufflers on it. So it sounded good. I love that car. I put the five inch tips on it. I changed the veiling. stuff to my RT and but I'm gonna tell you and this just how it goes I eventually got used to the horsepower of the RT and I'm just being honest I mean when I first initially got it especially coming from a V6 to a RT I loved it I felt like I didn't need any more horsepower I was like that's it that's all I need right here and over time um I really got used to the horsepower. And like I said, I used to do burnout. Smoke it up. Yes, sir. I was doing all kinds of stuff in my RT. And if you go back through my videos, you'll see that, guys. I really enjoyed my RT. And that's really what initially started my YouTube channel. And my dad had moved to Georgia. And that was a way for he and I to communicate. He used to, you know, he could see my cars through YouTube. And the rest is just history, y'all. Uh, you know, I started uploading videos and people started subscribing. And you know, just, and the rest is history. And I, that's when I started doing the dealership videos as well. I was like, let me go up and see what else they got. Uh, let's put more horsepower. Didn't really know too much about scat packs. Didn't really know nothing about Hellcats. Um, 
and my RT was a 2016. My people kill me talking about they started, they were the ones started the uh, dealership videos. I, you know what? I don't, it don't even matter for real at the end of the day. But if you go back through my video, I'm talking about four, three, four years ago, I was doing these dealership videos. Oh, this is 18. I thought this was a 19 joint. See, they got a few of these 1320s up here. See, these weren't here the last time when we came up here. And I think this one is open. So technically, I'm the OG of the, uh, the dealership videos. Now, people kind of took it and ran with it, yeah. But originally, I was the one that was doing the dealership videos. The pe everybody else was acting like they were scared because they would say you uh, window shop. But people were tuning in. People wanted to see what was at the dealership. And then I started doing the reviews. Then that's when Dodge announced they were coming out with a wide body scat pack. And that changed my life, guys. I seen that wide body on that car. I told my wife, I gotta have one. I gotta have it. And I tried several times to get one, but you know, at the time when they first came out, I started telling you guys, when those wide bodies and stuff first came out, they were charging a ridiculous amount for those cars. They didn't just start overcharging for those wide body scat packs and Hellcats. But back then, they had the power dollars. So you, if you wanted a, a 392, you were getting $4,850 off. And if you wanted a Hellcat, you was getting like $7,900 something dollars off uh, the sticker price. What kind of incentives y'all got on the scats right now? 19. Incentives, uh, it's, a, it's a whole bunch of different uh, chain, uh, rebates and stuff like that. So I can't, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. And that's when they really started selling those cars, guys. And once I found that out, I started working on my credit. I started doing everything under the sun, saving my money to uh, so I can get me a wide body scat pack. And that's when I found my wide body. It was in December, and I already saw talked to you guys about this, but if you're new to my channel, this is the whole rundown. I at the end of it was the end of it was the beginning of 2020. The dealership had the same dealership I bought it from, the same dealership I bought this car from had that scat pack priced at $63,000. I ended up getting it December of 2020, right before 2021, I ended up getting it for 51,000 out the door. Oh yeah. Oh, the showroom closed, baby. Now, I appreciate y'all support, man. For real, for real. Dream come true. You know, a lot of folks keep asking me why did I get rid of my RT because I honestly believe the RT would be a better car for YouTube because you can do it all. You can do a lot to it. You can mod it. You can make it faster. You know, you can do all kinds of stuff to the RT. And Monterey Hemi is a prime example of somebody taking the RT and really doing something crazy with it. Him, RT Life, Monterey Hemi, and RT Life are the two folks you want to definitely follow their channel if you're not. Most of you guys are. They really took the RT and made something special. And if I could do it all over again, I'm not gonna lie, with the exception of this car, I would've just kept my RT and modded it. Because if you really wanna have some content, that's how you do it. You take that RT and you make that thing crazy fast, crazy horsepower. So all the guys that got the RTs, man, don't feel bad. That's a great car. Um, it's a lot cheaper than any of these scat packs and these Hellcats. And you can pretty much mod it and you'll be right there with them. And now you can add the wire. Look at RT Life's uh, RT. Look at that thing. That thing's a monster. And his car paid off. Where everybody else got $100,000 uh, debt on their credit report for a Hellcat. And their cars are paid off. That's pretty much the reason why I got rid of my RT. Um, and on top of that, I only paid $33,000 for my RT. Um, and that was cheap, man. I think the stick on the RT was 43000 I bought it used. And that's another thing. People say, I ain't buying no used uh, muscle car. I bought that car used. Didn't have any problems, zero problems out of that RT. Nothing. That car was in, in almost brand new condition. I think when I got it, it had like 4,000 miles on it. Love that car. I had it for almost four years, I think I had that RT like four years when I got rid of it I think I had like 80 something thousand miles on it 
excuse me, I sold it to a Honda dealership. They bought that car without even asking any questions. And it didn't take them long to sell it. That's why you have to follow your own path. Don't worry about what everybody else doing. You gotta make things work. You gotta work with what you got and, and be satisfied. Like I'm satisfied. Who wouldn't who wouldn't want a Hellcat or a Trackhawk or you know something crazy? A Demon 170. You know what I'm saying? Who wouldn't want that? But sometimes you gotta just be grateful and thankful for what you got. Especially if you get an RT because now you don't have that lot, a lot of debt. You can pay that car off and still make it faster than somebody who got a scat or a Hellcat, but they still owe payments for another six years. You know, so you have to look at the big picture. So I hope that answers your question, man. Um, that's pretty much the main reason why I got rid of it is because I got this guy used to it and I wanted more horsepower. And I will say, if you don't mod your RT, there's a significant difference in the horsepower between a, a scat and an RT and definitely a Hellcat. I mean, that goes without saying. But the, um, other than that, man, you know, you couldn't tell me nothing about why my RT. I, I could pull it right beside a Hellcat when I had my RT and didn't feel no shame at all. No shame. I gotta turn this down raw pedal off. Cause even in a normal, regular mode, this thing snatching around. So my advice, man, just, just keep doing what you're doing, guys. And also, I appreciate y'all still supporting the channel. Um, both of my boys got their learnings now, so I'm in the process of teaching them how to drive. So my time is very limited. I try to upload when I can. It's spring, summertime. Enjoy your RT. And don't, let nobody, don't let nobody talk crazy to you about your RT. The RT is like that. The RT is a badass car. So appreciate y'all watching. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.